Rob, you'd have experienced playoff games in your playing career, I'm assuming. I haven't looked back, but I assume you did. As a manager, it'll be your first one. Um, will you call upon anyone else just to, to get some direction, or will you go through it on your own? I've spoken to lots of people over the last few weeks since we've known. Um, but then I think we, you know, we've got a really experienced group of staff as well that I can talk to on a daily basis to ask questions, air any concerns, talk about stuff, so we try and make the right decisions. But yeah, I've tried to lean on a lot of people who've, who've had that experience, from, you know, my previous manager Ian Holloway, who, who guided us through when I was at Blackpool, to Steve Cooper, who did it last year. I've, I've leaned on a lot of people, but um, ultimately we've got to make the decisions. You go into the match in tremendous form, unbeaten in 14, one defeat in 20 odd, and that was against Burnley. You, you couldn't be in better shape. No, we're in really, we're in really good shape. I mean, we're confident, um, we're in good form, but but so are the other teams as well. And that's why they are where they are. So uh, I'm not sure whether form and momentum and all those sorts of things, whether whether how important that is. We've tried to talk about it and keep it, and and um, and and we've been able to do that, but the playoffs are something else as well. They're a bit of a different beast and. And um, I'm really looking forward to seeing how the lads handle it as well. We had, you know, a number of them had the, the disappointment of last season that we can really draw on as well. They don't want that again. So uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to, to seeing what we're capable of doing on the big occasion. I mean, this season, the achievement of finishing third is huge. And when you look at it, you finished many, many points ahead of Sunderland. So you've been the better team across the season. But I suppose, as you say, it's about the mentality over the two games. It is. And <clears throat> the, the, the time where I was part of a successful team, we finished sixth, and you know we 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 beat um, Nottingham Forest. I think in the same final, we finished a number of points ahead of us. So, uh, it, it, and again, that was a long time ago, but I've experienced it. You know that side of it. So, uh, I think where we finished probably hasn't got a part to play now. I think, yeah, it has been a fantastic season and the players deserve a lot of credit to finish third in this league is, is, is it's really good, it's really good. But, you know, we're not done and, and we don't want it to end here now. As you mentioned, the fact that they've had it last season and went through the misery, that should put them in really good stead, shouldn't it? Now, the bit more experience, a bit more know-how, another season of doing really well, it feels like they should make the next step up. Well, we hope so. Um, and again, you can't guarantee you're going to win football matches. So we can we can learn from that experience. We can talk about it. Um, but the one thing that, that I'm looking for is it going to be a performance, our basics, and doing those things really, really well because that's what served us well throughout this season so far. If we do those things right, then you give yourself a chance of getting a result. Um, but you can't guarantee that win. So I can't say, yeah, we're going to go one step further. I feel like we're in good shape. We've got a pretty healthy squad to choose from, which is great as well at this stage of the season. Um, so we're in as good a shape pretty much as we could be, but we've got to go and do it. Over two legs, that adds another dimension to it, doesn't it? It's whether, you know, do you look at a draw being a, a good result or do you, you know, are you going to try and keep things tight, that type of thing? Does it add something extra? Well, we always try and keep it tight <laughs> in, in whatever game, you know, we, the, the game is about trying to score one end and, and keep it out the other. So we'll always try and keep it tight. But we'll always try and win the game as well. So we've got our way of trying to do it, and Sunderland have theirs. And um, you know, I'm sure it'll be a, I'm sure it will be an exciting couple of games. But we're not going up there to to just sit, you know, sit and and wait and let them come on to us. That's just not how we play. Um, and and if a draw is a you know a good result, only time will tell on that. But we're not we're not going up there looking for for that at all. You were there recently in March and there was a penalty right at the end which, which was very harsh, shall we say. Will that give them a bit of motivation as well? Because it was a game you should have won. In terms of a game we should have won, I think because we were 1-0 up so late and the penalty wasn't a penalty and we've had, obviously had that confirmed from, from, from the referees as well, um, it did change the game. But you know, Sunderland had their moments, as they as they always do in every game. Anyway, they did have their moments in that game as well. It was a tight game. There wasn't loads of chances. They, the woodwork from distance, and they had one or two good moments as well, especially some fast attacks. They got some brilliant individuals. Um, so it's it's hard to keep them out. 
you know, for, for the full 90 odd minutes. Um, but we did well up there, you're right. And uh, I think, you know, they, they made a lot of changes around 72, 73 minutes, and that probably had a little bit of a change in the game. Uh, the tweak in the shape and then and obviously the penalty then did did make a difference but it was a tight game up there and I'm expecting probably something similar. They've got injuries in defence, the two fullbacks who played against you played at centre half uh, last time out. Um, last season Luton had injury problems and went into it having finished as the, the final side in the playoffs. They've got injury problems and they finished sixth. So it, you, your squad is pretty much, you know, full health bar Woodrow, I, I assume. We are, yeah. Corley's the one that, that's not quite ready yet. Um, with them, I don't want, you know, yeah, they have got, I know they've got one or two injuries. Um, but what I'm pretty sure they have got is a clean bit of health at the top end of the pitch where a lot of the, you know, the top quality is and the, the, the a lot of the creation comes from there as well. No disrespect to any of the other players. Um, so I think they'll, have, they'll still remain a big, big threat. How are the boys in there? Are they buzzing? Are they, what's what the atmosphere yeah, yeah, yeah. like? They've been, they've been great. And we've obviously, like I said, we've known for a few weeks, but this week there has been a little bit of a shift in the, I think in the focus. And I've seen that on the training pitch. So that's really encouraging. And Woodrow, it, it, has he got a chance of perhaps the second leg? It might be too tight. Mm. I think the second leg. I think we'd have to hope to get through, and then and then maybe Corley has a chance. Um, but again, you know, I don't want to be disrespectful and start talking about getting to the final. But um, I think that would be where Corley's chances would be. And just uh, slightly away from it, Sonny Bradley, the skipper, announcing that he'll be leaving. Just a quick word on him. A tremendous career here. Fantastic man. Um, I love him to bits. I think he's. I've got so much respect for him. He's a brilliant leader. Brilliant man. Uh, he's done great things at this football club and we just feel it's the right time. And I think it's, it's a really good time where you know, there's really good feelings of, of him, he's got good feelings of the club and it's a good time to, to say goodbye and part but he's, he's going to go on and keep having a fantastic career, I'm sure of that. But I do want to go on record and say thank you for everything that he's done here but it's not over yet, Jeff. It's still a big part to play.